now uh, I've introduced you to esports, what esports is. Uh, I can go more into the possibilities of, of esports. You know, what can you do with this? What What are all the moving parts behind esports? How can you actually have a career? Why should you even worry about you know studying esports management in college? Stuff like that. Behind the scenes, you know, what goes on? What, what are all these lights? What are all these introductions to the players? What What is that, right? Uh, you know, you have video producers. Obviously, not only can they, you know, just film the event like uh, any other event would, but they do intros for the players. You know, when you see NFL players or a lot of colleges will do this, when the football team's going out, they have a little uh, hype video that a player does on, on, on the screen. And, you know, they're trying to get the crowd pumped, trying to get the crowd to make noise. That's video production, right? So going beyond that, setting up and managing equipment. This is something that I enjoy personally a lot because I've started building PCs, managing PCs, managing the software on PCs, getting the game set up on them. And this requires not only a lot of money, but a lot of time. Think about if you did a, a major or minor in computer science or electrical engineering uh, in conjunction with esports management. You know, they need um, hardware experts on staff there in case one of the, you know, uh, computers or consoles breaks in the middle of the event. So setting up equipment further, more uh, more in depth would just be like any other production, right? You have cameras, you have lights, you have fancy screens, uh, marketing and casting. This is what makes esports so different, not so different, but more different than other sports out there. Casting is in esports is probably the most crucial role to reaching a broader audience. Casting, marketing, and all goes hand in hand. Uh, being a caster takes a lot of work. Being able to talk on the fly and be comfortable with 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 what you're saying, knowing all the all the players, knowing what's happening in the game, being able to describe the game to people who don't know what's going on takes a lot of work. And getting sponsorship to fund these events goes along with marketing as well, right? Uh, the peak uh, viewership at esports events sometimes reaches millions now. My my favorite two casters actually for the Call of Duty League, uh, Joe Merck De Luca and Clint Maven Evans. And what the quotations in the middle is, is kind of their, what's called a gamer tag. So these guys build brands so well that they're actually known for their gamer tags rather than their real names, which is why branding and building a brand is so important for this industry to get far. And speaking of branding, it's not just at a corporate level, right? It's, it's individual too, like my two favorite casters right there. So um, not only does the league itself have to have to market and brand itself, but the individuals within the market can help that brand really explode based off what they do. And a bigger brand equals more opportunities at the individual level, right? So th these two casters, if they're not, if they don't have these these huge brands, maybe they don't get the job. You know, maybe it goes to somebody else. You know, in a, in an esports uh, movement or just any business in general, right? If if you have more followers, more following. Uh, more people enjoy your presence more basically, then you have more opportunities, right? It's all about connections and stuff like that.